Hello, Amanda Craven here. Um, there's a couple of things that I tend to get asked a lot. And one of them is, um, does having your own online store really work? Will people actually come to it or is it just going to sit there and do nothing? Um, and the other thing is, well, how on earth do I make a store? Doesn't it take hours and hours of uploading, tweaking templates, finding products, listing products, uh, relisting products, refreshing them, etc., etc.? Um, my answer to the first is yes, of course it works, provided you do it right. And my answer to the second is something I use called Fresh Store Builder. Uh, and there's a new version which is just about to come out called version 6 um, because this thing's been around for years. It's got around 10,000 people right now using it and probably an awful lot more after this. And the reason they use it is because it's really good. Um, but there are a few things about the new version that I particularly like. So I thought I would take you through them so you could see how to make this work for you. And I'll show you what I've been doing building out a new store so you can see that you can do it just as easily. Um, and there's a few things I want to go through about the, the sort of benefits of the new version, which are that it will update your products automatically, which means that you don't have to keep going back in there updating it manually, which honestly will just drive you insane. And if you really wanted to, it will just auto populate the whole thing. Um, it's got a shopping cart with a 90 day cookie. It's a remote shopping cart. So you don't have to maintain that. And that 90 day cookie means that people stay on your site till they're ready to buy. And most crucially of all, you'll get far more traffic with this because you can edit all of the content. Now, the problem with most store builders that I've found is that they're pretty inflexible. You can't edit, you can't add to them, you can't add in that value and that valuable content that you really need to hit the Google rankings and also to attract and retain people on your site. Even better, it integrates with Facebook, which means that you can update a Facebook page automatically whenever you post a new product. You can add your own images and you can even use your own links. So you don't just have to have Amazon products. And this is something that I'm really pleased to see because I always recommend, certainly to my students, that they have a mixture of products, not just Amazon, but other physical and digital affiliate programs as well. Um, so let's take a quick look at what I've been doing and I'll take you through it. So you've been gazing at the front of my store and you've been seeing products whizzing past you. Um, and if I just scroll down, all I did here was I added just a wee bit of my own content and all of these products here literally took seconds, minutes to add in, but it's looking pretty snappy. Uh, so here are my categories. I've got dog beds, dog toys, training and behavior, accessories, ID tags, waste bags, and so on and so on. And I've chosen this because it's a niche I know well. This is a new site um, and it's something that I will be building up in a, um, a pretty intense way. So I wanted to get it right from the start. And with this, it was really easy to do. So if I now take you backstage, as it were, and we have a look at my little control panel here. Actually, it's a huge control panel. Um, but having said that, it's very cleanly and well laid out, so it's not confusing. And what I have here is a list of all my products, and I'll show you in a second how to find those and how to add them, and it's super easy. But if I wanted to say get rid of a product, all I'd have to do is hit that delete button. It's so intuitive, I can edit it. I can remove from this category and put it into another category and so on. So let me show you how I do that. Well, first of all, I set up those categories that I just showed you on the front page. And if we take a look, I can then see instantly how many products I have in each category. So for dog beds, I have 26 dog toys, 17 at the moment, uh, ID tags, 20. Um, let's have a uh, 18 toy balls, dog crates, and so on. And you might be asking, okay, well, how did I find all those products? Well, first of all, I set up 
my categories. So if I just hit add category, now bear in mind this site isn't live yet, so it is moving a little slowly, but that's simply because it's not live. So supposing I wanted to add a new category and I decided I would add in dog harnesses. Okay, now you do not have to have the link title as well, but I could just add that in. Excuse me, I do have a little cold, but I'm struggling on. And then I would add in a top description. So I would just add in a few sentences. So I've added in this for the moment. I will go back in and add more because you do want, you know, preferably say a couple of hundred words but I've put in safe and secure harnesses to ensure your pooch enjoys walkies and so do you because I know from my own research and experience that people tend to go for harnesses that stop their dogs pulling that's one biggie at the moment and they also like them to be soft because the whole point with harnesses is that they don't pull on the dog's neck so you you conduct your own niche research but the beauty of Fresh Store Builder is that they actually if you don't know how to do all of this, they show you in the, the, their own training area. And I'll get onto that in a moment. But let's just keep going. So I've created my category. Now, obviously, I'm then going to have to add some products to that category. Now, one way I can do this, if I have particular products, if, for example, I'm already an Amazon seller and I want to add my own products, then I simply add in the ASIN numbers. Now, even if I'm not uh, a seller, but... I have, for example, my own um, puppy PLR, which I just bought out. And in this, you get a whole list of Amazon products to promote. So one thing I could do is, if I search down through here for harnesses, there, the puppy soft dog harness. Now, I know that this is a best-selling product because I researched it and put it in there. But if you're one of my customers, then you can simply copy all the, the hard work I did for you and you take that ASIN number and you pop it in there. Okay, so, and then we choose the category. So we're going to put this into dog harnesses and save. Okay, so one product has been added to the queue and it will then on the next cron job go through and it will be added to the category automatically. You don't have to do anything else. And you can add a whole bunch of those as well. Or if you want to find products, you then simply, you can find it by browse node on Amazon or even simpler, you can just go through. And if we go down here, you can see I can go to pet supplies. So this is taking me now to browse Amazon's products within this category. So if I just let it do its stuff, and you see, we get the puppy harness. We've also got the four paws, small blue comfort control. Excellent. That looks pretty good. So I can add that now. Before I do, I make sure I'm in my right category and I'll add my harness. And let's see, Kogo, I know, is a good name. It's not strictly a harness, so let's move on. Dog auto harness with tether medium. There's a nice Kogo true fit harness. We'll add that one as well. And a big dog soft no pull harness. Again, I know that's a good product. So now, if you see those little arrow things turning around, it's adding it to my category for me. And that's literally all I have to do. I've just clicked on things, kind of sat back. Um, I could have made a cup of tea and I've added them and they will be auto populated into my category, which saves me an awful lot of time and effort. So that's how you add your categories and you add your products. Now, one vital thing you need to do is to add content. So I have a whole bunch of pages in here already, but I'm going to show you 
how to add a page. Now, the reason you want to add a decent amount of your own unique content is because obviously, again, it's for your SEO and it's also to add value for your visitors. So for reasons of speed, um, I'm going to show you the way I do it, which is I'm going to use the report that I produced with my new puppy pack. And this is split up. So for example, this first thing is on dog beds. So I'm just going to copy the text here and I'm going to cut and paste that into there. Now, my report's called Puppy Essential, so I'm going to change that title slightly. I'm going to put Prepping for your puppy beds. Okay, now if I wanted to, I could add that as a link title. And I've added just a bit of content here. Now, what I would do if I was spending a little more time on this, I'd change it up slightly. So I make it completely unique. And then I could also add, if I wanted to, products here from those which are already selected on my site. So I could add in a selection of beds if I wanted to. So let's just show you how I would do that. If I click on that button there, Again, it's really just a question of clicking buttons and I'm going to select, I think I'll select the large display type and I, okay. So now I'm going to search for dog beds on my site and okay, the cooling dog bed because, oh, actually no, let's go for the peaceful nester because we're talking about a puppy here. So we insert that. And then if I wanted secondary content, then this would appear near the bottom of my page. So I could have my primary content here at the top of the page. Then I could have a selection of products if I wanted to in the middle and my secondary content here. And I save all my details. And that's all it takes to create a unique content page. Now, Fresh Store Builder themselves recommend you add at least five of these, but as you can see, that takes well, seconds. Uh, you can use PLR. I just use my own. Um, change it up slightly. You can add in your own content, and I really recommend that you do that. Um, which is, you know, for the same reason I recommend that people get into a niche that interests them, even if, you know, it, preferably that they're totally passionate about, because it's the same as 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 having a blog. The more fresh content you add, the more people keep coming back. If you add in a niche like this, for example, things like tips, advice. This is what people are looking for. And it is what gives them the added value that sets your store apart from other people's. And that's what sets you as apart from other stores out there. Because yes, of course, there are lots of stores out there on the net. But all you need to do is create your own tribe with your own store. And you do that with content. And the great thing about this store builder is that it positively encourages that, which means your rankings are higher, you get more visitors, with the Facebook integration, you can really build a community. And as I always teach, that's what you want to do these days. So let me show you we've done that. And if I just take you through now here, you can see it sizes all the images for you automatically. And they also offer, now I'm gonna take you into the training area. Um, and first of all, just to let you know that if you really are not at all techie, it doesn't matter because they can do it all for you. They offer all kinds of setup services. And I have to say, I have never been so impressed. I don't say it lightly because um, I don't dole out praise lightly. But when um, my store was set up for me, because I'd, I hate wasting hours and hours tweaking techie stuff when I know the stuff that I'm really good at is the content, the selection of products, the niche research. Those are my strengths. So rather than spend hours and hours tweaking something which would drive me insane, if I can get someone to do that for me, of course I'll get them to do it. Um, and Nihad, who set up my store, was the most patient, kind human being on the planet. That's all I can say. He, the, the service was unbelievably good and you don't often find that on the net today. So big kudos to him. Um, apart from that, what I really love about this is the fact that you get all these guides. So if you're a complete beginner, you can go in 
take a look at these and it really it doesn't it's totally unpatronizing it'll take you from well what do you need web hosting domain name how does it work using FTP how to install and you get a video about that then as I said before we move on to niche research which is vitally important when it comes to having a successful store so what is a niche methods for finding it keyword research researching your competition this is to my mind a lot better than an awful lot of courses out there gym checking SEO and so on and then value which as I just met absolutely essential so your affiliate sites Google will penalize you one how to add to this video creating and outsource actually you have to type a single word of course, if you don't want to I've shown you you can use PLR and also outsource and you can outsource to the extent you can get someone to update content regularly for you for free. peanuts ideas for content and so on and so on more features and you can even do themes and add-ons so if you decide that you want your store to have a whole new look here we go here's a bunch of templates you can get the one I'm using is fluid and I think it's gorgeous it's clean it's easy to use I added the logo it took me seconds um, there it depends on what what market you're in if you're in guitars you might want a huge visual of a guitar and so on and when it comes to the niche that you're in of course you can add value with downloadables with guides of course you should be building a list from your site and they make that easy as well it's really a kind of point and click operation which for someone like me and probably someone like you is absolutely what you need so I hope I have answered that age-old question of first of all uh, does a store builder is is this one of the best ways to to build your own e-commerce site absolutely because the the time saving the hair tearing the lack of stress is absolutely brilliant quite apart from that it's a solid business it's something that you can actually build on you can if you want to flip your store sell it on you know move on to your next store but it's something that is real and I know a lot of people get frustrated with with uh, internet marketing because they feel it's not real it's very nebulous this is something that as you know Amazon is incredibly successful and you could simply sell Amazon products from from your site you could sell your own products you could add in products from other affiliate programs as well you can add in digital you can have physical products it's extraordinarily flexible which means that you have a chance to build an ever-expanding business so yes you can also create a proper solid business from this um, and I can't recommend it enough I think it's brilliant I absolutely loved setting up my store and I'm going to keep adding to it now so if you need to find out anything more click on the link below and I hope that you enjoy your fresh store as much as I'm enjoying mine thanks for listening